Thanks to Railroad Art Centre for hanging the paintings, organising the posters, and their professional presentation. Uh, to help me out in all that, with heavy initiative. I'd also like to thank Tim Bistay for the music he's playing here tonight. There is a singer yes. and a songwriter. Yes. He, he is very good at, at singing very popular songs and uh, he makes it, he might get people to sing along with later on. He also, the songs he has written are very good and are very haunting and they're contemporary. And to, it'd be good to listen to the songs and the words and you really enjoy them. Uh, I'd also like to thank my wife and family. <laughs> as folk people call a mad artist. And they are now art lovers themselves. My sons are art collectors and have a collection of their own. And my daughter is the same way. My wife can pick out good paintings. And she's able to, uh, she wouldn't pass a masterpiece by it if she was in an exhibition. They're also very good as helping me with the paintings and just offering advice. Um, the theme of the, of the, of the um, <coughs> exhibition is The Road of the Best Traveled. And as far back as I can remember, I was drawing, painting, and being creative. This led me to the College of Art, and my time there was happily to build the history of art, pottery, drawing from life, and painting. I don't it all there. My idea of fun was to visit the National Gallery and attend exhibitions of Sean and Dunham, and I still is. I was very lucky to have a wonderful art teachers, Desmond Carrick, Harry Clark, and more recently the wonderful Art and Madison. And you can never stop enjoying artists and going to exhibitions. You learn something from them. The road less travel is also the perfect description for many of my paintings here tonight. The West of Ireland was my second home of the parents were both from Mayo, a very rural part, Holly here on back in uh, Bangor Eris in Belmont. I spent a lot of time there and it still leaves a deep impression. I've tried to capture the bleakness and beauty of the Mayo landscapes in that special magic moment unique to the West of Ireland. Of course, as a Dublin artist, I am also inspired by the hustle and bustle of city streets and especially the beauty of the red brick buildings and the Georgian buildings, the canals and the wide uh, spaces of trees and the movement of them. I'm very lucky to have the best of both worlds. I am now in a lucky position to be a full-time artist developing ideas, experimenting with colour and technique and painting every single day. My one hope is that you enjoy looking at my work as much as I enjoy painting it. And I'll finish with a little saying I once heard and I hope it strikes a chord with you. Music puts you in touch with angels. Painting puts you in touch with eternity. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>